comics. So we heard Bronze Age Babe here yakking about her comic book collection and today another episode of Women's Libbers from Space. This is uh, <laughs> well probably my favorite uh, story of Women's Libbers from Space. From uh, This is from 1968 Adventure Comics and the Legion of Superheroes. Um, the women's movement was just getting underway um, and uh, so the boys at DC uh, were obviously quite, um, uh, I think there was a wee bit of fear going on, uh, figuring out what does this mean and what, what, what are, what are feminists and what do they want and what, how will I live in a world where feminists get whatever it is feminists want? Um, basically it's, it's pretty funny because the story starts out with, um, the boys, uh, in the Legion, you know, in, physical training, beating each other up, and my, my, aren't they the most manly things you've ever seen, and, uh, but then they are called away to, um, an ambassador is coming to, to Metropolis, but the, the ship crashes, and so they zip over to help the ambassador, and the ambassador is like, perfectly able to take care of it herself, thank you very much, it's like, gasp, the ambassador is a, a woman? Um, and she's lifting those beams. What strength? Um, and so the ambassador, ambassador is like, well, who the heck are you? Um, and one of the more famous panels in, um, in this genre, you can see it on the internet. People have picked it up a lot, um, where she says, you're in charge, a male? You mean Earth still has a primitive patriarchal society? ruled by men. On my world, which your space, where your robot space probes contacted only a month ago, a superior matriarchal system exists. There, women are the stronger dominant sex. And uh, the legionnaire says, well, we have a patriarchal background, but we believe in equality of the sexes. It's like, oh, do ya? Okay. Um, so basically the story goes on and the ambassador realizes that because of the females in the Legion, uh, she has an opportunity to use them for her own ends. And, uh, at the same time, uh, you know, she picks up a wee bit of the frustration of the, um, the gals in the Legion who are like, you know, what, what are they doing when, instead of beating each other up in their spare time, they're worrying about their clothes and how they're going to sew this or that and um, that kind of thing. So the, the ambassador is like, oh man, they are ripe for the picking. So she has a magic bracelet that um, uh, enables the super chicks to uh, amp up their superpowers. And of course, the minute that uh, that happens, there's a showdown. You know, there has to be a physical showdown between men and women. And uh, so the, uh, the inevitable happens because that's what happens in um, when uh, there's social change like that. It, there's ultimately going to be a riot at some point. Um, but Supergirl has used her uh, brain power to figure out golly, how can we, this doesn't seem right, how can we stop it? And they get rid of uh, the ambassador's bracelet and that breaks the spell. And the um, <laughs> um, and the ambassador, the feminist uh, woman's liver ambassador uh, gets what's coming to her because she says, I kept a poison, I kept poison in a false tooth, which I broke open. Uh, the penalty for my failure must be death. Um, and so she you know, dies there, and uh, that's what she thinks. Uh, Invisible Kid and I learned that during her absence, her own home world overthrew its matriarchal government. So, yeah, you know, you can't have that. Um, and which all goes to show that despite our puny interference, there's a force in the universe that has a way of setting things right. So there's an opinion at DC Comics about what is right in the world. Um, and uh, clearly a feminist uh, matriarchal society member dead on the floor is uh, what <laughs> is the right thing. So, so there you go. That's uh, another episode of Women's Livers from Space. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching these videos, and I'll see you next time.